two guitar players in this band. Yeah. Keep rewind. beginning of the song right the one guitar player Correct. april wine is doing let me give you some advice about this if you pick that's called tremolo picking by the way okay if you're picking anywhere over here the string has more give the the more towards the center of the string you get the more give okay. it has okay so the more towards the end you get the less give it has you want less give I so that you. you don't have to stroke so far back and forth to pass over that string gotcha. you want it to be nice right? and stiff yes and you don't want your only point of contact on the guitar to be over here in your arm okay because you don't have very good control that way gotcha just like if you're writing with a pencil you wouldn't want to hold the pencil way back here while you're trying to write you, correct you get down to your point of contact i see okay. so you get more control that way gotcha. the same applies to your hand when you're on the guitar you want to i keep my pinky right here okay for stuff like this gotcha and i can get like a Gotcha. And I could use my arm muscle now to do that. My yeah. pinky holds me in spot. Rather than locking my arm on the guitar, sure. I don't like to uh, make myself too stable. Right. I don't want to immobilize myself. Sure. Because the entire time I'm playing, I'm moving this guitar around. I'm The neck is this way, the neck is this way. Right. My elbow is coming into my body sure. to help my pinky and, and ring finger come up to reach stuff on the top yeah. over here. I'm doing the opposite to do things like the D chord. I'm moving my elbow away from my body. All those so things it's all are... ergonomics, if you will, right? Oh my God, yes. The the physics of approaching, you know, the the geometry, the yes. the, the uh, approach to the fretboard. That angle is almost, you know, uh, yes. ninety eight percent of playing technique, really. Gotcha. Uh, the the fingertip, you know, trying to make a C chord. Most people I see, yeah, most people I see making the <laughs> C chord. They're, they're hitting, you know, their fingers are collapsing and muting out the open strings, right? Yeah. Right. It sounds okay, but, you know, it that's why some clean, people... It? No, it, I guess probably 99% of people play this way, dirty. Yes. But that's why when people play properly, they shine... It gives people the chills. Sure, It'll make sure. you cry. If I'm I, I told my wife that last week. I yes. said, honey, because um, I can I can literally play by ear, right? Yep. And I can hear a, a, a note, and I can find that note. It's beautiful. Yes, that's the ticket. Always, take, always put your guitar in tune. Yeah. We just heard it from the horse's mouth right here. That's the truth of it. If your guitar is in tune, and then you play along to a CD or a recording, whatever, yeah. you know, there's only... 12 notes in music so think if you only ever knew 12 people in existence in your life yeah you would memorize their voices rather yeah, quickly, absolutely and then they're all distinctive yeah. so people don't think of it the same way for music for some reason but my god if you could just try to f put it in that perspective in your mind that tune your guitar and then listen to that mm -hmm. let it say things in your head Pretend yeah. to sing words using that voice. Yeah. And call it Mr. E. That's Mr. E in your sure. mind. You know, here's Mrs. A. Mm -hmm. D, G, gotcha. And, and go you personify them. him, you know? That's exactly what yeah. I do. I have stories. I'm going to tell you my little stories, you know, because <laughs> I don't want people to think I'm too weird or whatever. I don't but, think you're uh, weird, man. <laughs> you don't think I'm weird, man. At most, I'm unweird. I'm <laughs> wizard, weird wizard or something. Huh? Guru. Let's see now. The gun guru. Now well, we got here to not collapse. Okay. To be the to be shiny, you know, to to be the person that everybody's like, my God, I don't know what it is. Whenever, no matter what they play, no matter what guitar they pick up, they sound great on it. Yeah, you know, they come from the small things like this that that everybody seems to overlook because it's okay to not pay attention to it. Got you. We can get by being sloppy. It works. It's fine. Sure, sure. You can have six strings, so if three of them aren't ringing, okay, you know, right. you're still making enough sound. But in reality, though, if you get the clean chord. Sure. Sounds clean, yeah. Uh, yeah, you've got harmony. Every every note is in its place as intended, as the creators put together. Yes. As the creator put together. Yeah, absolutely. The laws yes. of vibration yes. and physics that a man, uh, you know, controlled or are the cosmos. Yes, everything, absolutely. Everything that we yeah. call everything. Yeah, uh, logos, you know. That's it. That's right. So now, so if I want to get the hands and play right, I get my hand out under the guitar. Okay. And in front of it that way. Gotcha. See, if my hand comes out and then I can roll my fingertips back. Gotcha. I know we're just doing this one chord to start for the song. 
I'm doing the power chord versions, okay. you know, for what I just did. Well, it comes in on that tremolo, right? The April wine. Gotcha. Called tremolo pitch. Okay, tremolo pitch. Okay. And I said, you know, I always at least put it, like I said, at least the pinky down over there. Kind of helps steady it, yeah. I put a couple. It comes even more controlling. Yes. One hand on the steering wheel, two hands on the steering wheel. That's the feeling. One yes. hand on the motorcycle. Exactly. Or two right. hands on the motorcycle. Exactly. Bicycle. That's just absolutely that's okay. yes. And um, now, then the next chord comes in to start. Though let's do the one finger version. I would be like, well, there's no one finger version of this. Sure. It's called an open string fret zero. Okay. second guitar coming sure. in you know, like i did in the in the beginning of the video i did that's a full power right. chord a full a full chord actually I, if i do that that's the full chord but they're not really playing these other notes they're sticking to a power chord which gotcha. is two notes the so they're not note, hitting those other strings not, just those just two strings this. yep i'm actually just laying my hands down on them now purposely to mute those out so i can go listen in well, case i accidentally clean. hit that or accidentally yeah. hit that they're not even on the they're not even on sounds the chart clean. Yeah, it still sounds clean, right? Gotcha, gotcha. And then I'm sliding, watching okay. my seventh fret. So you're on the uh, A and the D, correct? Yes. These riffs will be on the A and D strings or strings five and four. Gotcha. Remember, we count them one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now you got your E chord, and then you're going up, you're going to skip two frets. And now that's fret 10 and 12, and that's a G chord. Okay. And here's how you count E, no space, goes to F. Every letter has a space between it except B and C and E and F. I have to remember that. B and C and E and F, no space. So if I count it, this is called the A chord form, what I'm actually doing here. And it okay. comes from my open A string here. Okay. And then, so that's the A power chord. Okay. In the song, I did this. I ended it before. I went. Okay. That's what that is there. Except I did it like that, but re really the chords that I'm doing up here are coming from this shape. We call it the A chord form. Okay. And if I'm just playing those two notes, I got the, the A and the fifth note of the A scale. That's what makes what we call as a okay. power chord. I'm just picking those two strings. Right? Gotcha. There's the A. Now watch how we do A. If I put a whole space, that's a B. If I put a no space between B and C, that's a C. A whole step, that means a space. Okay. So each fret we call a half step. Each fret is a half step. Yeah, okay. so if you say a whole step, that's skipping one. So from D to E, that's a whole step. Okay. And then from E to F, there's no space, so it's right next to it. There's an F. And then F to G, there's a space. Right, okay. And then G to A, there's a space, and I'm back, I'm back to A again, and that's why they have two dots on the guitar, because that's the second octave of the same note you started from. That's what the dots are? That's what that Those second, two? that's why it's two dots. Yes, that's your, that's your second, we call it octave. And even though it's 12 frets apart, it's, eight, it's the eighth scale tone. Okay. That's a different video. It's not for this. This is for April Wine. So will this come later then? You'll just oh, yeah, two yeah. dots. Uh, tell oh, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. I want to soak this stuff up big this time. This is uh, this is just to, to have fun with an April Wine song. Gotcha, man. My friend Mikey and I are sitting here, and uh, we're doing this. I'll probably throw this up on my YouTube channel. Yeah. So that's why I want to make sure I introduce absolutely. the video man here. I'm having a lot of fun but, uh, here, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. And I love so much... Uh, that you brought up something that I haven't heard in such a long time. I love the April Oh, Wine. man, like cool. I, said, I owned a video store back uh, for a lot of years, a video game and um, CD and record store. And sure, all that, you know? sure. And April Wine vinyl would come in all the time. Sure. It was very popular back in its day, right? Ah, man, to me and my book are still popular. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they well, rock They did still. their job. They left their mark. Oh, man. They have a bunch of albums out, right? Oh, I mean, for a Canadian a band? They rock yes. like Rush does, like, um, mm -hmm. who else? Uh, there was some other great uh, Canadian bands um, that came out. You can probably think of some. I'm, I'm kind of um, at a... Uh, oh, well, Rush, Rush, the number one. Oh, for yeah. Sure. I mean... Uh, all right, so then just real quickly, after you practice it going from the one note version. I'm gonna do that a bunch of times, then try it with the power chord. And to make that power chord, remember, you're just skipping a fret down to the next string with that finger. Okay. Now those two notes drum together, okay. make the power chord of whatever note this is. All right. This happens to be an E. So this is an E power chord. Okay. And it goes to a G power chord, E, F. You have to skip a space to go to G. And 
then it goes down to the D, which is here. And if you don't know where it's at, you can count it. A, skip one B, don't skip one C, skip mm -hmm. one D. Okay. And then D, D flat, B. The next time they do it, though, the second line of the song, right, we're going E to the G again. But now it goes all the way down to that A. Gotcha. So now you can keep that same form. Look at G. I like where you smoothly move your fingers uh, yes, right? down the less uh, neck. movement. Well, less movement means more efficient. More efficient means less chance of error. Yes. And also, when you're more efficient, it gives you time. Where if you're thinking so hard on the technique, it doesn't give you any other time to think of art. When you get the technique down well, okay, you put space between your thoughts. You think of what you have to write, and then you could be thinking of the next word, you see? Okay. So this is where your own artist starts to shine after so long of playing you uh when things become easier you know when you can make the g chord your hand just makes the g chord without thinking so much about it now i've got while i'm strumming that i've got a few seconds to think in that song that's where people are coming up with their musical ideas and where all these all that stuff is born you know in between playing because while you're playing you're thinking critical thinking absolutely yeah you know and at the beginning level or intermediate level it's almost uh non-stop you, like like reading a book or watching a movie, you're not going to be able to be paying attention. People ask me all the time, oh Oops. man, you know, it must be so cool to be up on stage like that. Uh -huh. I can't imagine what's going through your mind or they always want to tell me what they believe is going through my mind sure. when I'm on stage, <laughs> especially if, you know, like, if, well, God, if, if this is Key West, so I can say, you know, if, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. if you're playing, this, girls lift their shirts up or something right, like right, that. Right. You know, they think you're thinking and having conversations. You don't even see that. Right. Like, right. literally, don't even notice it. You just They'll be like, wow, them. dude, that was so cool. Right. And I'll be like, what? And I'll say, you know, when that so did that. And I said, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. They go, you were looking right at it. They go, no, I wasn't. Right, right. I was, I was thinking of, at the end of this line of music, I have to kick on my delay pedal. I have to shut off my distortion pedal. And then I, I'm exactly. not thinking, I don't, there's no, it's mostly, now, as you get better and better and better, if you're like the, some of the guitar players I know in this town, they're at such a peak of their playing level that I think that they might be able to have a full conversation while playing the song. Wow. Okay? I am not at that level, and nor do I know sure? too many other people that do. The thing is, Key West does something to you. You know, a lot of my friends... It's not like a touring musician that's out on tour and you know they play a couple shows a week yeah sure but their shows are like two hours long that's it yeah. these guys are playing two shows a day they're four hours or three hours a show crap at, every day right and it's non-stop in key west hopefully they're making some good money real with good those hours, at right? what you're doing you get yeah you get well that's why they're wearing themselves out because it gets addictive you're making really good money you don't have to travel on a bus right i shouldn't say this i mean we have too many musicians in key west already mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, i'm lying it sucks down here yeah, don't, but do you don't all come here to moaning, jam this is terrible do all the moaning music shop though <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> oh, so, speaking so you're, of which, you're a rare exception here on the island right it'll work yes. yeah yeah. There you go, sir. So. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Mike. All right. Let me get you in there. Turn that around. I want to get you in the video with me. Sure. Mind, you know, no, I don't idea. mind at all. You go right on ahead. My buddy Mike and I. Right here, man. My out. first lesson with uh, my buddy Wayne here. Excellent. My new buddy, my new friend. I love it. Thank and you. And I look forward to it. And Excellent. I'm already impressed with Wayne. I can't wait to dig in and get this thing going. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Wayne. Hey, you know who I am. I can't let it go without. I got to do a little bit of my subscribe to the <laughs> channel. <laughs> Do it. Like the video. <laughs> Drop yeah, a comment me. below. <laughs>